Yo, what up, hey, how you doing guys? My name is Sanjay, and today I'm going to be showcasing a pair of shoes that I purchased recently. I've been wanting them for such a long time, finally bit the bullet on them. And so today we've got an overview forward slash review of the shoes and a small discussion in regards to them, as you've probably guessed by the title. Before we take a look at the shoes, I'm just going to take 20 seconds to just shamelessly plug myself. If you aren't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. I post videos twice a week, or at least I try to, normally on Thursdays and on Sundays, posting content in regards to menswear fashion, whether that may be pickups, styling videos, DIYs, lifestyle stuff, all that good jazz. So yeah, if you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It helps a lot. And with that being said, let's get on with it. Starting with the packaging, I'm sure you already know which shoes I'm referring to if you've A, taken a look at the title or perhaps B, in the thumbnail, but there are a pair of Gucci shoes. Now I'm just going to show you the box real quick. It's such a clean, simple box. White, Gucci at the bottom. I don't even know if you'll be able to see that right there. Black little trim. And then the whole blocks, blocks, the whole box is black. Moving on from the box, we've got the dust bag, which genuinely, bro, like they are insane. Super soft, little Gucci detailing. Let me try and get that focus. Boom, looks real clean, real nice fabric. Just look at that, it just oozes elegance. And as pretentious as that sounds, like luxury, like you can really tell they're a pair of luxury shoes. Do you know what I mean? And then to the most important part, the shoes themselves. Now, as you can see, woo! They are buff on camera. I'm just only going to talk about one for the time being, just because it's a lot easier to showcase. Black leather loafer with the horse bit detail. Should I bring it close up to the camera? Come on then, let's, let's do a close up intimate session. This was from the Spring Summer 17 collection. So current season, black leather. Leather is incredibly soft. You've got a 30 millimeter heel. The silhouette is inspired from 70s fashion. Now something that not many people are keen on is the front. So you've got the horse bit detailing featuring the double G's, iconic of Gucci, and then you've got this sort of stitching which is very, very reminiscent to all my English boys out here who went to school, you had a pair of loafers or shoes that were very similar to these, and trust me, when you were hitting that ball for like a that free kick, you were setting the ball up, just smack it there, the ball would just curl, top bin, top left corner, it would get in, however, Something that tended to happen with these shoes was this flap would just completely come off. Now, obviously, I have no intentions on playing football with them. However, this was a little trip down memory lane to those of us that went to school and had to wear a shoe fairly similar to these. Now, something that I love about this pair of shoes is the foldable back. As you can see, super malleable, super soft. You can just wear it as a slipper or you can obviously have a more form-fitting back piece. Does that even make sense? Form fitting back piece. I don't know. I just feel like I just chucked in loads of words unnecessarily. In terms of sizing, let's talk about it. Size UK 6. I went down a size. Do you know what? I'm now starting to think that with every designer shoe, it's just safest for me to just size down. So in my Nikes and Adidas, I wear a UK 7. Any sort of designer shoes, whether that may be my Sanohan, whether that may be Gucci, whether that may be Bottega, I'm a size 40, which is equivalent to a UK 6. As I said, I've been wanting this. Not ex this exact pair, because this was from this season. Obviously, I wanted a more slick. I think it's called the Princeton loafer beautiful cut however this to me it just speaks out and there's something a bit more cool about it you know I think it's the hill genuinely I do believe it's the hill and obviously this is very reminiscent of a old school shoe basically but I know that this detail is something that a lot of you will hate Hence why the discussion, when I showcased this on my IG story, some guy was like, bro, you've got square toe syndrome. How do we feel about that? Now, I'm not saying that Gucci is the one that kind of helmed the square toe comeback. However, you can definitely see that a lot of their footwear do feature this front, whether that may be their boots, whether that may be their loafers. Do we think it's going to be a massive comeback trend? Or do you still prefer pointy shoes? I mean, don't get me wrong, I still like my slick and kind of Saint Laurent-esque pointy finishing on my shoes. What do you call this bit? Like the, the front, basically? Perhaps it's because I'm envisioning them how they look in the lookbook, and they've been styled so well. Like, Gucci's creative direction team is just insane. So, Gucci, black loafers, 70s inspired. I believe they're called the Vegas. I could be wrong. They retail for 545 pounds. Give me two seconds. Sorry, that's a lie. They retail for 485 pounds, which is a bit steep, however, worth it, basically. These are gonna last you a hell of a long time. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Will the square toes be making a comeback? What do you guys think of these Gucci loafers? Have you copped any Gucci loafers? What do you guys think about shoes in general? Leave all your thoughts in the comment section 
down below. Thank you very much for watching this video. I've got some really exciting content coming up for you guys. Some pickups, a What Would Sand Wear episode 3, which I'm filming at some point next week. Thank you ever so much for your support, man. It's so appreciated. If you want to follow me on my social medias, it's in this corner right here. Here, 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 here. S-A-N-G-I-E-V, that is my first name, Sanjeev. With that being said, have a beautiful day. Take care. Peace.